And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about efforts to boost small businesses in California. My guest this segment is Sam Driggers, who is the Director of the Economic Growth Programs at the Cal California Asian Pacific Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for being with us. Well, thanks, Steve. Thanks for having us today. Uh, I guess you ought to talk very briefly about the, the Chamber of Commerce. I mean, you almost entirely small businesses, right? Correct, correct. The uh, California Asian Pacific Chamber of Commerce is a four-year-old organization. Uh, we happen to have a variety of small business membership throughout the state of California. And in addition to that, we actually happen to have 25 MOU partners. Those are primarily local Asian Pacific Islander uh, chambers of commerce, community-based service organizations, and others throughout the state uh, that we represent in, in, in excess of about 600,000 uh, Asian Pacific Islander small businesses throughout the state of California. I've, I've always thought that the barriers to economic growth, which is your specialty, um, in, with small businesses uh, are access to capital, access to technology mm -hmm. and also access to the procurement process and I know you you have some initiatives underway especially regarding procurement. Uh, Steve you're spot on access to capital being one of those foundational uh, points that ca that small businesses definitely need uh, the technology aspect as well but more so from our standpoint is procurement and contracting uh, with what we would term anchor institutions these being government whether it's a state the federal or local uh, also educational not-for-profits and corporations, larger corporations. It, it seems like in the last several years the state of California has done a better job of really mandating for public projects, infrastructure projects, high-speed rail or whatever mm -hmm. it's going to be, to to basically hire some local small businesses. But in terms of the private sector, is that not keeping up? I think both sectors are actually making great strides in California. Uh, California Public Utilities Commission passed General Order 156, which takes regulated industries here in the state of California and provides a clearinghouse for programs that they've already been implementing and provides best press best practices, sort of uh, some, some benchmarks or targets to meet, and a platform by which they can discuss and announce their successes uh, year upon year. From the private sector standpoint, there are many companies, not only Time Warner, Comcast, and others within the private sector that are committed, Kaiser being one of them, uh, Kaiser Permanente, to supplier diversity efforts and taking a portion of their spend and redirecting it to disadvantaged business enterprises uh, within California and local small businesses. So what, what else is needed? I mean, what are you working on to try to coordinate all that or to try to have a clearinghouse or, or what? Uh, great question. Great question, Steve. At this point, the Cal Asian Chamber of Commerce, California Asian Pacific Chamber of Commerce, has had a great success with our portal, uh, uconnecthere.com. What we'd like to do under the board leadership and our executive director, Pat Fong Kushida, is apply technology to the process, to shrink the process and make it seamless, as well as to be better able to get out into the communities, support our MOU partners and their local small businesses in providing them access to information and tools such as capital that you're talking about, mm -hmm. but then also seamlessly connecting them to procurement and contracting opportunities. And if we find that those small businesses are not ready, then divert them over to some technical assistance. Hmm. All right. Well, it's a fascinating subject. We're out of time, but uh, we could talk on this uh, for, for many minutes more. But Sam Driggers of the California Asian Pacific Chamber of Commerce, thank you very much for coming by and talking about this very important issue to so many thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of small businesses. Thank you very much, Steve. And thanks to our viewers also for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. Have a great day.